What's up guys, Musty Eddie here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a new rail that I'm gonna be testing out here in the headquarters. This is the UTG 15 inch lightweight key mod rail. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how easy it is to install this thing. I've actually never installed a barrel or barrel nut before. Uh, most of the time, I take that to a gunsmith and leave that to the professional to do. Um, from my channel, you've seen I've done everything else, but uh, never done a barrel nut and barrel nut before. Um, but as you can see, it's done. It was really easy, and I think that really does speak to the uh, the thought process that went into the installation process of the uh, rail itself. Um, I don't want to cover this rail too much in detail because I want to cover that after I've got done testing it in about three weeks or so. Um, but a few things that caught my eye right out of the box, the paint job. Uh, these things are made here in the United States. I believe it's in Michigan. They're also painted here in the U.S. as well. Uh, this is Cerakote Burnt Bronze, I believe, and it looks great. Um, the coat is even. I don't see any missed spots or uneven paint of any kind. And it looks even better outside. I was taking pictures for Instagram, and this thing just looked awesome. Um, another thing I noticed right out of the box is the machine work. These guys went above and beyond uh, machine missing to really make it a better rail. Uh, they have these things called finger grooves here on the side, which uh, also, you know, they, they help with grip, but they're also going to help cut down the weight. I mean, all these uh, finger grooves, that's a lot of metal they've removed. Uh, along with that, they've also uh, chamfered the edges here at the end of the rail. Uh, that's to prevent snagging or, you know, it's sharp edges that could, you know, scratch you of any kind. And I, it's one of those little things, but I really do think it really does show that they pay attention to the details. Um, also, They've machined out the spaces between the Picatinny rail pieces. Uh, they're indented slightly, so if any webbing or uh, your sling gets uh, stuck on the Picatinny, it's going to hit those you know, machined edges and, and roll right out. So all in all, this is a really nice rail so far with my initial impressions. It's thin, it's lightweight, there's key mod sections anywhere you could possibly need them. Um, and also, I'm looking forward to telling you guys about their actual Picatinny attachment, uh, Picatinny rail pieces you can attach to the rail. These things are really cool. Um, how they link up is amazing. So um, let's go ahead and jump into the installation process, and you guys can see just how easy this is. All right, guys. As you can see, I've already removed the Strike Industries rail. Um, I have removed the Sierra Element comp because you need to get your gas block off to get your uh, barrel nut off. Uh, for me, it's really easy because I have these two set screws here. I just loosen those, um, slide my gas block off. If you guys have your standard A2 front sight, you're gonna have to punch out those roll pins, uh, which I did a long time ago, uh, and then you're just gonna slide it off that way. Uh, once you get your gas block off, you can then move on to your uh, barrel nut and delta ring, removing that, or if you have a proprietary barrel nut that came with your rail. Either way, you have to take uh, your barrel nut off to install, obviously, UTG's barrel nut. UTG also provides their own barrel nut wrench, as you can see here. And guys, I know it's just a barrel nut, but this is the best one I've ever seen. Uh, most of the time when I see the uh, company provided barrel nuts, they are, looks like they're just water jet or laser cut, just straight out of uh, raw metal, sharp edges, nothing to it. They took the time, they chamfered the edges. It looks really, really nice. And like I said, I know it's just a barrel, uh, barrel nut wrench, but it does show their attention to detail. Um, and also down here you have um, some spacers to help with the alignment to get your screws to match up with the holes, uh, the screws themselves, and uh, a couple Allen wrenches. I think I already took one out to goof off with the uh, key mod system, which is really cool. All right, guys, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. We're going to get zoomed in closer here on the barrel nut region. So when I uh, do the install, you guys can see a little closer look at that thing. So I'll be back in about two seconds. All right, guys, before we get started, I should mention that this rail does come with a really extensive manual. On the first page here, it has a uh, image of an AR-15 all broken down. Obviously, we know what that looks like. Uh, second page here is an illustration of how the parts actually fit together. On the other side is what it's going to look like on the inside of the rail once everything's installed, how it works, all that good stuff. They even include pictures of their different lengths of rails installed in an AR-15 so you kind of see what it looks like. A uh, picture of everything that comes in the packaging and actual pictures, not uh, drawings, illustrations, or outlines, anything like that. Actual pictures of how to install this thing step by step uh, with really good descriptions down below. So if you guys don't find that this manual is enough or that this video is enough, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below uh, to UTG's uh, YouTube channel. Click on that link because they have a really good video. I've already watched it along with reading the manual because I like to double check and make sure to do things right. So like I said before, we have a uh, dual barrel nut system here. Um, the outer barrel nut with the slots comes with this sticker included. Make sure you uh, take note of this sticker. I've taken it off, obviously, and put it on the packaging so I wouldn't lose it. Um, it informs you which slot you need to put the proprietary provided barrel nut wrench on to tighten it. It says you should not put it on the outer slot but on the inner slot, so make sure you pay attention to that. 
So we're gonna get some of this stuff out of the way here. So the first step's pretty easy. We're gonna take our barrel nut and install it. I should say that I've checked that my barrel is indexed properly. Also, I saw a trick online. I'm not sure if this works or not, but that somebody installed their bolt carrier group and charging handle uh, to help everything match up better. So I figured it wouldn't hurt. So bolt carrier group, charging handle installed. I'm gonna go ahead and put the barrel nut on. I'm gonna tighten this sucker hand tight. I'm gonna go as tight as I can with my hand here. We're gonna take your rail. We're going to slide it on. And you're gonna to check to see if the slots, like the walls of the slots are protruding on these uh, screw holes here that you're gonna to use to tighten down the rail. As you can see, the wall there is protruding slightly on the right. Um, so, so that is why UTG has supplied these spacers. I believe they give you four total. Um, I think each spacer is a half a turn. So we're going to remove uh, the rail, gonna remove the barrel nut there. And I'm just gonna make a guess here and I'm going to install uh, two spacers here to see if that gets the job done. So we're going to take our, our two spacers here, we're going to put them down the barrel, and take the barrel nut, reinstall it, we're going to go hand tight again, we're going to double check that we have nothing protruding into those screw holes once again. Hand tight, take the rail, I'm going to slide it on here, Okay, so I'll get you a closer look here. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, we are lined up, but the uh, rounded edge there, the tip of the slot is protruding to the screw hole. Uh, that's okay because when we tighten this thing, obviously it's gonna go righty tighty. So uh, these slots are gonna be rotating to the right. So hopefully it's gonna tighten down enough where those uh, slot walls there are gonna move further up the receiver and leave those holes wide open. So I'm gonna consider that good to go. Uh, remove the rail here. Uh, let's go on to the next step. I'm gonna have to get my vice block out, so give me two seconds and we'll be right back. All right guys, so we've gone ahead and secured our upper and our uh, vice block here in a vice. Uh, this is gonna be a little strange because normally this um, vice is out in my garage on my workbench. I've gone ahead and taken it off of the table and brought it down here so it's, it's loose and it can move. I actually have the I uh, have it propped up here so it doesn't move. So we'll see what happens. But um, I've gone ahead and already applied some grease. I can see my index has... There we go. Uh, I've gone ahead and already applied some grease to the threads just to help the barrel nut go on a little bit easier. So we're going to uh, reapply those spacers. We're going to, again, screw on our barrel nut. I'm going to double check for the third time that the manual says 35 foot pounds. I'm also going to double check the sticker that says use the inner ring, which I already knew, but I'm going to double check anyway. And I'm going to let gravity do the work for me, so I'm going to be pushing down toward the ground. Again, we'll see how this works out. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're set to... 35, and we're gonna get this thing rolling. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to move this light here so I don't hit it. So if it gets dark, I apologize. All right, so here we go. Maybe. Let's see what happens here. There we go, 35 foot-pounds, so we're good to go there. Let's uh, go ahead and get this out of the vice block and we'll come right back. Alright, so we're back and the next step is to take the inner part of the uh, barrel nut assembly, I guess, and we're going to go ahead and slide this in. You want to make sure that that slot is straight up and down with the gas block. I'm trying to do it off camera here, I think that's good. You want to double check and make sure that your screw holes are lined up with those slots. Let's get a closer look here. All right, as you guys can see, we are, I think, pretty well lined up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna double check, make sure these screws will go past that wall there. And if they don't, all I need to do is just tighten the rail down a little bit more. 
Looks like we're fine, we're good to go. So easy enough. So now what we need to do is obviously install our low profile gas block uh, before installing the rail. Um, I'm not gonna do that on camera because it's pretty straightforward because I'm already set up, like I said earlier. I'm just gonna slide this sucker on. I actually already have marks on my barrel of where uh, the set screws go. So I'm gonna slide this thing on, tighten it back down, and uh, we'll get on to the next step. So two seconds. All right, so our low profile gas block has been installed. Uh, like I said, it's pretty easy there. I'm just going to put this back on here, line it back up with the gas block, and take my rail here, and slide this on, and just pray everything lines up like it's supposed to. Now, let me get one thing that I'm going to do because I'm, like I said, I'm anal about everything. All right, guys, so you can skip this step if you want to. Um, I'm anal, like I said, so I want to make sure that um, my Picatinny rail is lined up the whole way down. I'm going to use an ambush sling loop. Um, I think it's a really good way to get everything lined up. So I'm going to go install this, tighten it down, and it should, um, A, bring the rail closer to the receiver and also line up the Picatinny rail so it's one continuous piece. Um, you can use anything to do this. You can use... Uh, a red dot mount, uh, another sling loop of any kind, anything with a Picatinny rail piece that's got a few sections here you can use. So I'm going to do this before I move on to the next step, like I said, to make sure everything's lined up. I'm just going to double check and look at it. Looks like it is pretty much, as far as I can tell, it's good to go. All right. So in the manual, uh, it actually says that if somehow, you know, your inner barrel nut uh, piece gets moved, you can just take your Allen wrench and straighten things out. So I'm going to make sure it's good from my angle. I think it is. So from there, we're going to use the uh, screws provided by UTG along with the torque wrench they provide. Or Allen wrench, sorry. I'm just going to do this first. So I'm not going crazy on these yet, guys. I'm just... Uh, What's going on here? Nothing. I'm just getting um, fairly tight and I'll go back through and tighten everything again. Oh. Alright guys, we're back. And as you can see, the installation of this thing was super easy. Again, this is my first time doing this whole process of the barrel, barrel nut, and rail all together. Um, and as you can see, it went off without a hitch. I really do think that anyone with the proper tools could easily install this. Um, if you guys are looking to get into your first barrel nut, barrel, and rail install, this would be a good first start. It's not complicated at all. It's super easy. They give you the proper tools to get the job done in regards to the instructions and the shims and space uh, spacers. But um, again, those spacers and shims are needed because every upper receiver is made just a little bit different. If you want, you know, this perfect fitment that I have here, you're going to need those uh, shims and spacers to get it just right. I mean, a hair wouldn't fit through there. This thing might as well be a continuous uh, rail for all that matters. Um, I'm also really liking these large uh, non-rotational tabs that index the upper receiver. Uh, it's going to give no chance of this thing coming loose and rotating at all. So um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment box below. Uh, feel free to check out the uh, final video when, um, when I'm all said and done testing this thing out and see what I think about it. Um, if you guys haven't, please feel free to like, favorite, and subscribe. I really appreciate the uh, support. As usual, guys, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.